Someone said, Fisayo, <laughs> you are beautiful, but you talk too much. This is a video for God's sake. It's a reaction video. Am I supposed to be quiet? Hi outliers, welcome back to my channel. I am the Fisayo and I'm a travel and lifestyle brand. So today I'm going to be, you, uh, this of recent, we've been doing something different, right? I've been doing most of my content for the past six to seven days have been very different. If you don't know, I've been doing a marathon show. I'm basically on a May challenge. I'm trying to challenge myself to release videos every day of the week this month so monday to fridays i'm releasing videos so stay tuned to this channel and come tomorrow go watch previous videos if you haven't watched it so today yes i need something different what are we doing uh, i am going to be more reacting to comments on my channel mostly main comments i usually just ignore people i don't like to respond to main comments because sometimes it's best to stay silent but i will choose the comments to answer because sometimes like i said it's best to say silence or something right that's one so while doing that i'm going to be eating my first food for today which is dodo um dodo for those who are not nigerian is called plantain fried plantain yeah i'm going to be eating fried plantain and stew so let's eat let's have fun let's talk last thing this basically this content today's content is basically going to be um talking about my love for Nigeria. So my top, or I'm going to basically be reacting to the comment on my most popular videos. My most popular video presently has over 31,000 views. Just one video it was talking about the airports in Ghana and um, Nigeria. And yeah, I'm going to be reacting to like some of my popular videos and a few other videos that I just basically spoke about Nigeria. Like almost all my videos are actually about Nigeria. Like I always, you know, mostly about travel in Nigeria, tourism in Nigeria and Africa at large. But some form, whether it's Nigeria or not, I will still bring in Nigeria into my topic, into whatever I'm saying. You can tell that I really do have a genuine passion for development and growth in this country. So enjoy, join me, <laughs> and let's get into the video. By the way, before we start, guys, if you haven't subscribed, be cool. Hey, Joe, subscribe to my channel, and yeah. All right, guys, let's continue and let's you know see the first comments that we're going to react to i have not chosen any comment like i'm just going to be choosing randomly while eating right and i guess you would also observe my mannerisms my eating mannerisms number one talking and eating already is wrong you know that <laughs> i feel like i'm even going to get a speech for this eating dodo and talking but that's you pull's business anybody that wants to eat smoke you can, not, not everybody can like you in this world if you are going to be concerned about what people say you never do anything you know so just do you be you and stay true boo be shameless <laughs> if you guys don't know shameless man this is a blog, plug go and check out <clears throat> so like i said the first video is about the airport i um, the, the airport i reviewed in ghana comparing it to our airports in nigeria and number one reason why i do these videos is for people in nigeria to open their eyes shine their eyes let them see that there's room for improvement can they learn from people and this person commented i guess he's a Ghanaian. for him to say this he said you're just jealous you're not proud what do you take ghana for some country that can't have anything better than that so some country that can't have anything better than nigeria please in my mind i'm like okay number one okay maybe you're, you're you're typing in anger because that is not correct i don't understand that statement does not make sense but i'll help you make sense of it um he's trying to say so countries basically cannot have, have anything better than nigeria i am on this i feel that number one you don't understand me <laughs> i'm not going to judge you i don't understand my message because if you do, then you would not say this. So number one, I'm not jealous. I already told you guys the reason why I'm doing my videos. And I will keep doing it. I even did a video comparing our airport to Istanbul's airport. Istanbul, does, Istanbul right now has the biggest airport in the world. And I did that video for two reasons. So that people that do not know should know. And also for development plan purposes so that we, so that we nigerians can aspire to be greater in terms of everything we do in tourism and other parts of the um society that you can affect in your only two way united nations if you're listening let people understand why they should 
be forward thinking. I don't know why people would think. I don't know. I'm not jealous, okay? I'm not jealous. Moving on. <laughs> I'm, if, if anything, I am proud. Like, why should I be jealous? Like, it, I want I want Africa to be great. I want, like, Africa has been looked down upon for a very long period of time. And one of my objective and vision is to change the African narrative. So if I want to change the African narrative, why would I be looking down on other African countries? Like, why would I be jealous? Instead, I should be happy. I should be clapping. And that's what I did in this video. But clearly, somebody... <laughs> you're saying I'm jealous and I feel like right now I'm talking with so much passion and to be like I'm being angry I don't know I'm not angry I'm just like you know very passionate you know next someone said anytime I see Nigerians comparing any new development in Ghana to their country I see it as envy and an insult so our intelligence as Ghanaians Nigeria think we don't deserve to be an ultra modern airport nonsense he said what nonsense <laughs> oh my god and he had like 22 replies i don't read all those things like i like when your videos get popular like when it, you have particular popular videos you'll definitely see some a speed depending on the content anyways so i wasn't too surprised it was it was a shock to me at the beginning but i started getting a lot more of it so it was like okay next thank you <laughs> anyways i like the fact that i'm laughing at this because when I first saw it, I was very baffling. But now it's like, mm. So this person is almost saying the same thing as the first person. So this is, I can't pronounce the name. So if you're watching this video, you should know that I'm not insulting Ghana. I'm not jealous of Ghana. If anything, like I said, I am happy for Ghana. And I mean, kudos to you guys. So there's no need to, there's no need for the hate speech. There's no need for the nonsense. Like what nonsense? Mm. Nah, fam. No need. Moving on. <sighs> Giant of Africa with depleted roads, hospitals, schools, erratic power supply. Giant of Africa with high level of corruption. Number one, the reason why this person says Giant of Africa because I, in the video I mentioned that Nigeria is Giant of Africa. It's what we've been told and it's what I know because of how much resources and, and our population and so much we have that has been able to classify as a Giant of Africa. So I said it basically in the video so the person is now actually 18 on us nigeria now i wasn't 18 on them they're 18 on <laughs> and you know we're brothers and sisters i don't know why i don't know well let me try continue reading um giant of africa with high level of corruption insecurity high in fact mortality stroke life expectancy of, of 55 years according to who october <laughs> person really quoted who with october 2018 report Gan giant of Africa with mass Im immigration to this to the smallest and poorest countries in Africa instead of the way around instead of the way around oh my this comment is long ago the problem listed above are not peculiar to Nigeria ne nevertheless if the country prides itself as a giant of Africa then why is it that Nigerian have emigrated to other countries in Africa to search for greener pastures it is easy for one to call himself a chief farmer if the individual has not visited anybody's farm before by the way there are two countries between nigeria and ghana so why is it that nigerians never compare themselves with these countries china and india do not call themselves giants of the world because they have the largest population in the world what defines nations as superpowers are their levels of economic development quality of life of the citizen and technology technological know-how i love nigerians with all my art but please let's refrain from the negative ep ep i can't pronounce this <laughs> to describe each other but rather share the ideas together and develop our respective countries so to redeem the image of uh, of africa self-acclaimed giant of africa must live by example and now this person is really contradictory. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I can, I'm getting two messages from this whole paragraph or two paragraph. Number one, he said I should stop calling Nigeria out of Africa. Two, he said I should stop saying something negative. And now I'm like, oh, I didn't say anything negative. Go and watch this video, guys. What I said was, I was basically applauding Ghana. I said I, I was happy for them. I, I think, let's just see. You know when you already have a mindset about 
a certain kind of people, whatever they say will not get into you because you already have the mindset that oh, this person is going to back, is going to is going to talk down on us. So I think that's the mindset he used, or these people used in watching the video because. I really didn't say anything to bring down the country. I didn't say anything negative. I was applauding them. I was talking to us Nigerians that we should wake up. That can't you see people are developing? Why can't we be? Why can't we also learn from them and develop also? So I feel like these people are just getting things wrong in terms of my message, right? I forgot with my dodo. So Ghana, we love you. Franco also, you got me wrong. Most of you got me got my messaging wrong. But in terms of Giant of Africa, you made sense in some of his points, but Giant of Africa still. <clears throat> Someone just randomly wrote Ghanaian Jellof is the best. <laughs> like it's not even relating to the topic. I'm sure it's just a shade, you know. <clears throat> John Jonas Jonas won. Nigerians, why are you always comparing yourself to Ghanaians? I don't understand you people. It's better for you people to stop that nonsense. You people spoil your country and now you want to... You, now And now that you are suffering, you, and you... Ah, it's English, I don't understand. And now that you are suffering, you people are talking about Ghana. Ghana, why stop that... Why stop that moral things? Like, what? <laughs> what are you writing? I'm confused. So everybody, I have over 200 comments on this um, particular video and about 98.9% of it are from Ghanaians talking about why am I, you know, talking back at their country, why am I comparing the country to Nigeria? So to some extent, I feel like they already get a fair share of comparison of jello fries, jello fries, jello fries. So that's why they think i'm coming for them meanwhile i'm not they should go back to my videos or you guys should go back to my videos you will see that i've done a lot more videos comparing some other in fact structure in terms of travel and tourism in nigeria to some other countries like i said i've done istanbul i've done charles de Gaulle in paris have i done dubai have i done dubai i've done other countries and other cities so it's not anything against ghana but thank you for bringing the comments in these comments made the video boom and we have 31,000 views you know thank you guys <laughs> next next video so in this video i was comparing nigeria's airport as usual <laughs> to um the airports i've been to which is paris and dubai in particular i was in america when i did this video so it was painting my heart. It was hurting my soul. Like, oh my God, see how beautiful this place is. Why can't we have this in Nigeria? Like, every time I travel, every time I see something good, I always want to bring it back to Nigeria. We're Nigerians for a reason. Let us bring change to this country. Let us use our knowledge, power, and no skills to move Nigeria forward. We cannot have brilliant sets of people in this country that do nothing to push this country forward. If everybody's always complaining, complain and doing nothing, how will this country move forward? No, it won't move forward because... We're all just complaining, not using what we know and what we can do to move Nigeria forward, you know? And I'm not that kind of person. So I basically voice out my mind, voice out my emotions using the videos like I'm doing right now. And this particular day was like maybe a week or two weeks into my trip in America. We, we used, uh, I don't know, Usha had a stop over at Paris and the airport was amazing. And I wanted to share with people with the mindset of making sure that these two can be replicated in our country excellence should always be factored in as a mindset when building any infrastructure and when building any policy or whatever that will shape the growth of our country so let's and, and as usual um videos like this get eight comments so let's you know go and read them i don't know if this is eight comment but let's just see um kayode kigan says Nigerian politicians have been traveling through airports for ages. They know what other countries' airports are like, and yeah, they still come back to Nigeria and haven't done much to improve things. This shows you the kind of people we are electing into office and much about the people voting for them. Well, that makes sense. That's not a comment or a main comment. That makes it was basically just stating facts, which is true. People, our our politicians or our leaders actually travel. They see these things. Maybe 2% of them actually act, not like the majority of them, so it's making a lot of sense. 
So I was like, sweetie, Nigerian airports will never look like those in the Western or Western Europe or the USA. Airports are expensive, and your city councils probably steal most of the revenue for themselves instead of improving their infrastructure. Sad, really. You seem really nice. <laughs> you seem like a nice, attractive person, but a bit naive. If you think your government cares about nice airports, okay, now you're wrong. You were wrong. I have met, been in the industry for two years, and I've met people that are as equally passionate as I am in this um, in this industry, and like they are really driving change from government officials to even people like myself and people at the top. I know a few people, of course, here and there, people, in anything you do, even in America, they are, they are always going to be corrupt people that will want to drag you down. And that is called life. So that's why there are people like myself and those other people that will not want to give up and keep pushing regardless. So um, thank you for the compliment, I guess. I, I don't know about being attractive. But um, about your mindset towards Nigeria never developing, nah, I don't want to believe that. I come against that. <laughs> Nigeria is going to develop, and it only takes it takes everybody to believe the same and push, push, keep pushing towards it. Now, this video is in no way related to Ghana's airport, but Bashu Mahama says Ghana airport. I'm going to read it the way it was written, not like the correct way it should have been written. Ghana airport is thousand times better than Nigeria airport. Even the northern part of Ghana airport is better than Nigeria international airport. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. What's the point here? Because this video was not related to um, Ghana in any way. So if you're actually trying to drive on my point, I, I, I cease to see it. Guys, I keep forgetting to eat my bodo. Now, this video was done in January 2018. I basically went to cover the new um, park that was done in Lagos by the then governor, Governor Kim Umiambode. And these are some comments. Someone, well, Jazz says, What happened to the greenery? Attention to details, Lagos. Any benches to sit on? Person was basically complaining about the grass. The grass was not <laughs> green enough. Okay, funny enough. I say funny enough. Funny enough, this video does not actually have eight comments. This is actually awesome. A video that has over 11,000 views. People have good art, you know? Well, maybe it's because the content here was different, I guess. This video is basically the new airport. Ah, why do I keep saying airport? The new train station, the metro rail that was opened last year, like towards the end of last year, which is 2018. Comparing it to that of Lagos that is non, well, you'll find out. So people basically go and watch the video. I will link it up here so you can find out or see more. I'm sure I will link on the, all the videos I'm basically be reacting to up there. People basically had things to say, some positive, some negative. So let's read the main ones. So you heard about Ghana's new airport, but you didn't hear about Abuja's new metro system. First in West Africa. The same way Nigerians miss the news of Volkswagen opening assembly plant like uh, or carried uh, but carried the one in Rwanda on their heads like it was the end of the world. LOL. It's like Nigerians would rather see. now again I don't understand why this comment is on this video because it's not about Ghana or anything, it's about the trade in <laughs> what is so me how people it is <laughs> I don't have on this paper. It's about the airport in, I say airport, keep saying airport, the train in Abuja and the train in Lagos. So I really, you guys will have to watch the video to understand, but maybe I'm not getting what he's saying, but if you can explain what he's saying, please leave it in the comment section. Someone said, Fisayo, <laughs> you are beautiful, but you talk too much. This is a video for God's sake. It's a reaction video. Am I supposed to be quiet? I don't get it. We can't even enjoy the video. Why is sharing? You know why? Why showing us a video in square box? Now, wow! I'm not the owner of the video. If you want to watch the video, then you go and watch it yourself. Like you search for it. This is a reaction video. You clicked on a reaction video for a reason to watch a reaction, not to watch a silent. Like watch, not to watch the video all over again, or to watch the person just being silent. Now, fam, that's not a reaction video. Guys, people are actually hilarious. So, Peaceful Warrior says, 
don't worry no escalators no elevators means good health because i was basically complaining about um like it's a new thing in 2019 there should be an escalator in an airport sometimes people just want ease like why did you you put so much budget like the budget for this project was huge and yet i don't know if and why they did not use the budget why in the, the escalator or elevator was not included in the budget so he's basically saying don't worry no escalator no elevators means good health <laughs> if you get and he says um he or she says that will make you guys exercise so i'm guessing it's not nigerian and he says greetings from senegal so clearly it's not nigerian this is from Senegal, by the way. At the facade, don't don't show your face when you are showing us something else, and you, else, and you want us to focus. Your face is too pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't actually see what was going on um, on the title screen. Um, so I am getting this feedback too. Number one, I already told you the reason why it's a reaction. Number one, two, I have actually I don't know what month was this. This was last year November, so my recent reaction videos I have been like showing more of the reaction and then video like interchangeably share you there's been improvement so noted. Oh my god, people are hilarious, they make me laugh. So this person Henry David says Fisayo You have to learn to appreciate good things. You are Oliver you be Oliver Twist. You see you you see on you the Oh, this person speaking pigeon. Let me try and understand. You see, on you they ask for fastest train. America gets fastest train. Now this one una they spoil una country name. They goes, they goes, they go so for everywhere. Why you not compare Nigeria train station with Ghana? Why you not? Why I did not? Why? Why you not compare? Nigeria train station with Ghana train station. You they fast you they fast to compare their new airport with Nigeria airport. Make them say nah you get mouth pass. And the person is basically saying that why should I why should I want more? Why should I expect more? At least we have something and that's not why I am. I don't settle for less. We aspire for more, we aspire to be excellent, we aspire to be great. So yeah, that's that about that. So this video, I'm going to just be reacting to a few comments I got. I just actually shot it like May 3rd, a few days ago. I was basically reacting to, not reacting, I was voicing my emotions on so many things that are not working in Nigeria. I was crying in the video and a few people left comments. Now, these are not mean comments, so to say, but they, um, they said something about Nigeria, which is what I want to say, I've mentioned. It's Frederick Kamu says i am kenyan to speak the truth the rest of africa is waiting for nigeria to rise and lead from the front a strong nigeria would really ca catapult africa to the next level but your leaders lack vision elect the right ones otherwise no one is happy to see the giant of africa struggling to make oh she Frederick, yes boy i five he called us giant of africa <laughs> i totally agree with everything he said so that's my main speech so let's move on. <laughs> so this Kali, I can't really young Kali. He says this country is cursed. I'm guessing it meant curse, like C U R S E, not C A U S E. <laughs> Nigeria is not cursed in Jesus' name. Amen. May Nigeria, I say may Nigeria, may God help us change. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's what he wrote. He wrote may God help us change. Um. So I think this is what I really wanted to bring up from this video. He says, "Awon Baba Olowo says." I have given up on Nigeria. There is no hope for me, dear. There is no future for me, dear, except misery. Our youth are realizing there is no hope. Now they are falling into crimes that have, that they believe is just and are being arrested worldwide. Hmm. Our fathers have failed us, but we have also failed ourselves. I don't see hope. It's a dog eat dog country now. Now this is a deep comment, but some words I don't agree with everything he has said. What do I even agree with here? It's just deep. I don't really agree with everything he has said. Um um okay, yeah, yeah. So what I see from this particular comment is the reason why um 
these days you hear on news that Africans or Nigerians are doing one thing or another in another country, basically spoiling our country name. And you see them on news, international news outlets saying this about a Nigerian did this, a Nigerian did that. That's what is probably pushing that. But giving up on Nigeria is not the solution to helping the country. If you want change, you make change happen. People, how old is America? How old, are, how old is China? All these countries invested time and effort to get to where they are today. And you're basically reaping the fruits of like their labor. They labor. So if we don't labor, you will not see change. You will not see what you aspire to get. Nobody start like no, nothing good comes easy. So you giving up is not the solution. That just means you don't be part of the solution. And so that's why I don't agree with you. <sighs> so guys, I think this will be the last video I'll be reacting to or the last comment I'll be reacting to. This was the video is titled Reaction to CNN Report on the New Nigeria. So I did a whole video about the new Nigeria of of my dreams and I talk about I basically showed like for example what we have in, in what nigerian airport is like now what it could be what our tourism is like now what it could be in terms of our zoos and the rest right and some more just go and watch the video so um this last comment says you want to make your country resemble united states of america there will be a truckload of problems to come with that and one of the biggest one will be the immigration that will change the foundation of the whole country how will you be able to keep millions of out when you possess the golden arches of your dreams that has now become the reality? I do not think I understand this comment. It's saying that we should not resemble the United States, that we should not aspire to be like United States of America because of immigration, because of people coming to our country that we cannot, we will not be able to hold them like to cater for them and all that mm -hmm. i don't totally agree everybody like america has found a way so guys you know what i'm just going to say i don't agree that we shouldn't aspire to be as great or even greater i don't agree that's a mediocre mindset and that's not what we're about here you are outliers we are outliers or oh, i am an outlier for a reason right so i want you to make sure to aspire to be great. not anybody don't let anybody tell you cannot aspire to be who you want to be or greater than what you want to be right so that's how i'm going to end the video today and if you think i misjudged some of the things that was said please let me know let's talk about it in the comment section below as you can tell i interact with people <laughs> that basically raise something intellectual and you know just say have something they really want us to talk about but if it's a hate speech you know what you're getting i'm basically just reacting to it either in front of the camera or well this is the first time I'm reacting, I was doing a VAO video reacting to comments, so I don't really do this often. Yeah. Um, now, yeah, that's it. That's all for today, guys. Let me know what you think. Should I do this more often? I don't think I want to do it more often. I'd rather remain silent. Um, but what kind of content do you want to see more on my channel? I do mostly travels and lifestyle and tourism, most with the angle of development, proposing development strategies and change. Um, policies that will help nigeria grow that will help africa as a continent grow let's change african narrative together i hope this video has not been boring to you and thank you for joining me with my dodo i'm not actually done eating can you imagine like i have talk 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 <laughs> so thank you for joining guys and i hope to see you tomorrow in my next video till next time don't forget to subscribe like and share if you are yes to share this video to someone that you think this particular content will resonate with or will have something to say or they probably you know are thinking towards or along this line and like this video share subscribe <laughs> yes till next time do not forget to always stay awesome stay inspired peace